No, you want people, as many people as possible, to be excited about science because any problem you can think of, I don't know when you're planning to air this or, uh, or cable it or internet it, but uh, right now we have this huge gushing oil well in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's a result of some neglect somewhere in engineering. So we need as many engineers and scientists as we can get. And, uh, because our society is increasingly dependent on technology. Everything we do, every cash transaction, our bank transaction, navigation systems, uh, the medical discoveries that are made and improvements in general health, these are all science-related science Things. They don't come from from the sky. People make them up. People sit and think about them. So you have to get excited about science before you're ten. Really, it's one of the things I really like about Explorer Vision. It starts in kindergarten. It's, it's, a, it's a great it's a great competition. So you seeing all these bright young kids, you know, inventing all this stuff, does that give you the motivation to keep going and what you're doing? Or well, yeah, sure. I mean, my business. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to change the world. Right. A little bit. That's great. We'll all keep driving, in the U.S., we'll keep driving on the right. That would be like, I think, a change we don't need to make. There's other changes, though, that, you know, we could, could really help things out if we didn't depend on foreign oil, the United States and Canada, if we uh, weren't burning fossil fuels everywhere all over the world, things would be a lot better. And uh, if people's overall health were better, it would be better for everyone. everybody. See, healthy populations, what do they do? That's right, they pay taxes more. That's good. So if you could give a piece of advice to rising scientists, K through 12, what would that be? Uh, to get to where you've, where you've been, or just for the future in general? You make observations, watch the world, and then uh, see if you can predict the future. That is to say, see if you can get an understanding of the world so thorough that you know what's going to happen next. It's a very hard thing to do, but it's a process. Science is a process, and you want to make that process sort of your habit of mind. It's the way you look at things. And then you could invent something and, dare I say it, change the world.